Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with my BrickFet 2015 LEGO haul. The first thing I got were these LEGO posters, and these LEGO posters are a, brick a LEGO Brickumentary, the movie, which is coming out soon. And they're quite large posters, so they're hard to fit all on frame here, but they're still quite cool. And I got two of them just for attending the convention, even on the public days. Next up, I'm going to start with the stuff that I got from the actual BrickFet vendor booth. The first thing I got was the Year One BrickFet Moose. This Moose was the first event kit that they had when their first convention, five years ago actually. The next thing I got was the CN Tower, another one of their event kits from a previous year. And then of course we have the Peace Tower. If I am correct, this was the second and then this was the third year event kit. And the fourth year, which was last year, I actually already have the event kit for that. And as far as I am aware, I do not think they had an event kit for this year. Also at the BrickFet table, I got a BrickFet 2015 brick as well as a Toronto brick. Next to the BrickVet booth, once again they had their gumball machines full of Lego, so you put it in to get raffle tickets. I got a, another one of these minifigures, I'm up to quite a lot of them now, but this year they also tried a little something new with that to get raffle tickets, it's the same way, but you could put it in and actually get minifigure accessories for a little bit cheaper. So I got two lightsabers, one in green and one in blue, as well as one cape, as well as some minifigure utensils for Eevee. So that was very cool, and they were only a dollar, so which is basically what you'd pay for one of those weapons or minifigure accessories. And then you got a, a chance to win the LEGO Monster Fighters uh, haunted house, so that was really cool. Next up from the vendor Jealous Panda, Chris, he actually does a lot of organizing for BrickFet. I got some things from him. He was having a two-for-one deal when you like his Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that. So I got two-for-one arches, and these are really cool arches for buildings and stuff like that. And they were only $5 each, so that was a really good deal. So when you buy one, get one free, it was awesome. Next thing I got was this Coca-Cola vending machine. As you can see, Coca-Cola is actually engraved here on the window piece, and then there's a hole for the drinks to come out. Finally from him, the last thing I got were two of these window panels here with the hazmat logo on them. I use these for my Abby's lab in my NCIS building and I have one already so I got three, two more so I can have three for her lab. Next up is the Brick People. The Brick People I bought from three years in a row now. I brought from them in Brick Fair 2013, Brick Fet 2014 and now Brick Fet 2015. I absolutely love their products and they've always got some really neat things. From them, the first thing I got were these white arms. So these white arms, they were left and right arms with all those minifigure hands, and they were only $2 for all of them, which is a really, really good deal. Uh, she like gave me, she's like, disclaimer, I think there's, there's more of one side than the other, like, sorry about that, but that's kinda, we just had all these. And I was pretty, I was fine with that, because for $2, that's a lot of Lego pieces. Next thing with them, they had a treasure chest with a golden sprue here, the coin sprue. I got this just because I don't have the gold coin sprue, and but I have the big gold coin sprue, which is very rare. So I wanted to get one of the smaller ones to kind of put it by, side by side and look cool. And then it was a treasure chest, and these were only a dollar, which was a very good deal. Next up from them, I actually got some misprinted Lego pieces, which I think is really quite interesting. I got a bird, another bird, and a dog. And I'll show these up close now. This side of the bird like looks 100% fine, but it's when you actually turn around and you see that, oh my gosh, it's, it's missing an eye. With this bird again, this side is 100% fine. The front is fr printing is all fine. It's when you turn around to the back, you realize that the bird actually has a smudged eye but it doesn't really look that noticeable. And then this Lego dog's kind of funny because his face didn't get finished printing. It looks like it's missing the nose as well as the eyes. Also from them, they had these motorized, they're not motors, but these things where you twist them and hit it. And it spins, and these are really cool. They These were, these were super cheap. These were uh, 25 cents each, so that was a really good deal. So I bought six of them. I probably could have bought more, but they, they were just such a good deal. I was really happy with them. From them also, they had Lego minifigure heads. So I got five of them. These were also 25 cents each, and I'll show them close up. Here are the heads that I got. I got two of my Sig Figs head, just because they had them. And I got three Lego female heads, because I'm always short on their heads. 
Another cool thing they had were these one by one gold coin cones. And these are really cool. I'm guessing there's you know a couple hundred in the pack. And I saw them and I'm they were a dollar each, a dollar for this whole bag, and I really liked it. I'm like, I think I can do something with it. And they had so I bought one and then I went back and bought another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. And then I went back and she actually had one in her bin, another pack, but it had ripped open. So she sold me as much as she could find and she put in a new envelope for only 50 cents. So that was another really awesome deal. And the final thing that I got from them was set number 808 for this Lego Star Wars set without the minifigures. She actually gave me this when I was walking by her vendor table another time. She said I was a really great customer to them today. And she asked me if I wanted this free set. And I said, well, of course. And I was then we got talking about how I had shopped from them before last year at Brick Fair 2013. And then I ended up buying more stuff from her while I was there. So that was very nice of them. She said they don't really sell sets. So that she just kind of had this one and asked if I wanted it. And I was like, yes, please. Next up, I got a lot of stuff from Neon Bricks. So I got quite a bit. It's all on my table here. I'll just put it in my hand. Um, they were selling their products as well as Eclipse Graphics, which I ended up buying more Eclipse Graphics from them than their products just because they were in Ottawa and I really stocked up on a lot of their products. Here's a close up look of all the stuff that I got from Neon Bricks. Right here is all the stuff from Eclipse Graphics and right here is actually Neon Bricks' product. Starting with Neon Bricks, I got this pink potion bottle with uh, like a printing of an eye on the front. This like meat cleaver which looks really cool. This lime green and like goldish yellowy printed uh, gun, I couldn't think of the name of it. And finally this really cool printed Lego minifigure guitar which is very neat looking. I also got three Brick Boys from Eclipse Graphics. One in yellow for myself, and then one in red and blue for my little cousins. One printed bacon tile. One of Eclipse Graphics Cine Studs. This really cool Pepsi can, and I didn't even realize until now that there's actually printing on the top of it as well. I got a Brick Daniels water bottle, as well as one of their custom cell phones in yellow. And here is Neon Bricks' new business card, and it is honestly so much nicer, I think, than their old one. I really like this one, and it says www.neonbricks.com. Another thing I got from one of the vendors was this Lego store minifigure, which was only $10. I don't remember what vendor it was, but when I saw this for $10, I like literally like jumped on it like just so I could get it because I really wanted it. I wanted it when it came out, but nobody really had an extra one or they were selling them on eBay, which I don't blame them. They were $20 when they first came out. So to get one for 10 Canadian money was a really good deal and I was really happy that I got one. I really wanted one. And finally, that was the last thing that I paid for in this haul. I also got this BWTM Brickworks. They had like business cards with a little souvenir thing and a brick. So that was really cool. They had them at a sponsor's table. And then BrickworksAcademy.com. They had some bracelets there. And these bracelets say keep calm and build on and then they have two by two bricks on each one. I got a yellow and black one as well as a blue and white one and a green and white one. But my dad has that and I don't know where he put that. So thanks everybody for watching my Brick Fet 2015 Lego haul. I got lots of really, really cool things and I'm really happy with what I bought. Thank you so much for watching this Brick Lover 18 YouTube video. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up, comment on this video, as well as share the video with your friends. If you want to see more of my previously uploaded LEGO YouTube videos, check the cards as there's a playlist there featuring all the videos that I've uploaded so far. If you want to see more of my LEGO YouTube videos as I upload them, please click on the subscribe brick and you will subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to check out more Brick Lover 18 and LEGO related awesomeness, Please check out www.bricklover18.com where you'll find the links to my YouTube, my Instagram, my Twitter, as well as my BrickLink store. Thanks for watching this BrickLover18 video. Stay tuned for all things LEGO by clicking that subscribe button.